Hi, welcome to the screencast for 9.3 about reactivity. This will be a fairly short screencast, but it's talking about the idea that some atoms gain or lose electrons more readily or more easily than others. So some will be considered stronger oxidizing agents because they're easily reduced, or they'll be stronger reducing agents because they're easily oxidized. And sometimes in industry, we want that. So metals tend to lose in electrons and are reducing agents because they push their electrons into one another whereas nonmetals tend to gain electrons and are therefore oxidizing agents while they're being reduced. Single replacement reactions often involve a more reactive metal pushing its electrons onto a less reactive metal in a solution. So the less reactive metal is already an ion, the more reactive metal is trying to become an ion. So the most common reactivity series is a comparison of the reactivity or reducing strength of metals. And it's important in the metals industry when you're trying to extract different metals from ores to make more iron or, you know, for jewelry, whatever you want the metal for. So looking at this chart, decide whether the following reactions will occur or not. Look at the data booklet or page 171, and if it occurs, complete the reaction. Um, so zinc chloride plus ACL, or plus AG, silver. Silver would have to be more reactive than zinc, which it's not, so there'll be no reaction here. On the second one, magnesium trying to displace iron from iron chloride. Magnesium is more reactive, so it will form MgCl2 and leave iron as a metal. And so balancing it, I would need a two here, a three here, so a three here, and a two here. So looking at reactivity among nonmetals, then on the next slide here, as I clear off this ink, other nonmetals, especially halogens, have very strong oxidizing powers because they're being reduced. And the greater electronegativity indicates it's more likely to take the electrons away or be the stronger oxidizing agent. So there's a halogen reactivity series as well. And if you look at the halogen family, fluorine's going to be at the top of that uh, reactivity series, followed by chlorine and then the other two halogens as well. So bromine and iodine. So nonmetals like hydrogen and carbon can also fit into the metal reactivity series since they both have reducing power and they can uh, displace or replace metals in it. But hydrogen and carbon are not highly reactive on that uh, metal reactivity series, but they can be placed into it and they both can be used in industry to help reduce metals and extract them from ores. If you've maybe heard of um, a coke refinery, you hear of coke being used in things, they're referring to carbon being used as a reducing agent. 